Hey coaches, welcome to part five of the inviting series. So really quick, I want to quickly tell you what this video is going to be about and that is follow-ups. So you are going to find that as a coach, you are going to need to master your follow-ups. So reason being is if you don't follow up and you don't follow through with somebody, they're going to A, see you as being flaky and B, you aren't going to get the return if somebody does decide that they're ready. So you need to make sure that you are following up. And with that being said, how do you, how do I follow up with somebody, right? That's probably the first question that's going to pop into your head. And how do I know when to follow up with somebody? So in your conversation, a lot of times people will tell you that they can't right now. So, and that is part of the no, right? You're going to find out the reason why. And a lot of times they'll tell you why. And sometimes they'll say, financially, we can't afford it right now. And you say, you know what? That's great. Is there going to be a time that I can check back with you that you think that you will be ready to do it again? And or um, you can also say or they say it's just not a good time for us right now. So then you can say when when would be a good time for me to check back with you? And a lot of times they'll give you a day or a month. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that day or that month and you're going to write it in your calendar, you're going to put it in your phone and set an alarm on it. Anything that is going to work for you to remind you, make sure that you do it. So for me, I have this awesome calendar that I got for like $4 at Office Max, and it really helps me with my follow-ups. So when I say I'm going to follow up with somebody or call somebody or check back in with them, I write it on my calendar and then when I'm going through my power hour each day, then I follow up with those people and then I'm done and I've done my job. They know that I'm consistent. They know that I'm here for them and even if they say no again, that's okay and if they set another follow-up date, then that's great too. I know this month, especially with taxes coming back, a lot of people are telling me, well, can you check back with me in a couple weeks because I should be getting my taxes back? And you say, yep, that's great. What day will work for you? And you write down the day, you write down their name and what you need to follow up with them with. So that is super important as a coach is your follow-ups. And a lot of times, even when you ask for recruiting purposes later, that's what the next video is going to be about, is about growing your team and recruiting new coaches. A lot of that is also following up with people. So a lot of times people aren't ready at first, but it's up to you to keep loving on these people. You need to like, you need to comment on their pictures, you need to love on them and show them that you are here. And part of that is by following up. So if you don't hear back from somebody, Two to three weeks later, maybe send them another message that says, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm getting ready to start my new group. I know you were interested. And I know that me and a bunch of other girls are getting ready to start in this group. And it would be really fun to have you in there. Are you still interested in, in hopping in with us? And that way, it's showing them that other people are doing it with you. But it's also creating that sense of urgency so that they have, they know how much time they have and yeah, maybe they will be ready, but you're never going to know if you don't follow up with that person. So make sure that you are following up with them because if you don't send that follow up, then you'll never know what's to be. So that's it for the follow up video. And now we get to jump in to recruiting and growing your team. So I will talk to you later, guys. Thanks.